what's going on guys welcome to another video and for today's episode uh it's a very interesting one in fact this is based on a comment so this comment is from nora and she has sent me this comment uh, asking whether uh, is it possible to delete the google drive files from AppSheet? and of course uh, with an extra note she is from brazil so i'm gonna give this a shot obrigado nora pelo comentario espero visitario brasilgia so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so first of all to start off this journey let's say i have this three column structure for my file which is file name file id and delete okay so this is the spreadsheet that i've created and this is the one that i'll be using for my app sheet later so to list down the files that we have in our Google Drive and delete requires an extra uh, settings which does not exist in um, AppSheet by the way. So we'll be using Google Apps Script. And to do that, go to extensions here and click on App Script to start to create your script. I already have mine. So there's two, which is uh, the first script will be listing down the files. Okay. So what it does is it will look for the ID. What, uh, what is required, sorry. You will need to define the three things, which is the spreadsheet ID, the folder ID, and your sheet name. All right, so for spreadsheet ID, if you've been following my previous Google Apps Script video, to get your spreadsheet ID, you'll just go back to your spreadsheet here. And there'll be an ID in your URL as shown on screen. So this is the ID that you'll be copying and paste it into your script. So folder ID, similar to spreadsheet ID, you'll get it from your google drive so i have created a subfolder in a folder called app drive which is files this is a subfolder name that i created and in this file or folder which is all the files that i want to list down in the spreadsheet or app sheet itself and this is where the delete will happen as well okay so copy the id from the url of this particular folder for my case is this and paste it into your script and paste it here and sheet name would be the sheet name of the spreadsheet that you have created for my case i've named it to files so you can see this here files and of course the rest is basically the script of getting and populating the information that you want from the Google Drive. So we have appended the row for file name, file ID, and delete. So all your information will appear here. Again, you can change this according to your structure. Just be wary on the, the format. And as long as you follow the format, should be fine. All right, so on to the next script, which is delete Google Drive file. This is the name of the script. You can name it to anything that you like. So what the script does is very similar to listing down. You have to define the spreadsheet ID and the spreadsheet name and the flag or the delete flag. So delete flag is we want to instruct the script to delete the files whenever there's a flag and for my case is delete so when there's a flagging in terms of this column let's say this is oh sorry mine is all caps so delete you can use a different word is fine when there's a delete for say app one uh, sorry file one the id can be anything and when there's delete so the script will be 
looking for any of this similar format when it's flagged as delete the script will delete the files in your google drive so let's see that in action shortly so once you have all this ready let's start off with listing down the file so manually we'll, we'll add the trigger shortly but manually if i were to run the script you will see automatically the script will populate the list of files that we have in the folder so here there's nine files so i guess it's around nine two four six eight nine so that's nine files so all has been listed here with their respective id and there's yet to be a flag uh, so we'll add this flag within the through the app later all right so this is the manual method so let's add some triggers so that it can run automatically for us so go on to triggers and the first trigger uh, we want to add is the listing down of the files and my personal preference the event source is a time-driven uh, event and i'm setting this again this you can you can set this to any of your preference for this particular demo i'm just going to set the listing down files to every 10 minutes click on save and the second trigger is the check and delete files all right so we choose which function to run i'm going for check and delete files and the event source similar to that which is time driven and it's a minutes timer and i want this delete file delete script to run every minute that's the reason why i prefer time driven because there's there's always a chance a different uh disconnection between app sheet and the spreadsheet that you've created so to be on the safe side start off with time base will be better all right so you have all this ready now let's say we create an app so go to extensions app sheet create an app and obviously i have mine ready so let's just refresh this all right so we have all the files that we have seen in the spreadsheet in this particular app now we want to create a an action so that it can tag the delete input in this column so to do that go to actions create add an action for this file table i'm just going to name it delete g drive oh sorry delete g drive file or files table and set the values of some columns in this row so i'm setting the delete column and since my flag is delete so it will be delete and let's say we add a no, no sorry we just changed the icon to delete let's say delete file okay So your action is now ready. So let's put this to test. Now, if I were to leave one file, which is aggregate pie chart and delete all the rest, just click on delete. So I'll be deleting eight files. So it will start to flag immediately. So as it flags, whenever there's a delete, it will start to delete the files right we're just going to leave it for now and wait for at least one minute since the interval is one minute and let's see the results now as you can see the delete happened to all the files that has been flagged as delete and we are only left with one file which is aggregate pie chart.png so let's see the actual folder in google drive 
And if I were to refresh this page, I'm only left with one file. So that's how I would personally do the delete function from app sheet to Google Drive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it's slightly different, the approach, but this is another perfect example why it's also important to know a fair bit on Google Apps Script so that we can go beyond boundaries, you know. AppSheet has some limitations, but with the assistance or with the addition features we have in Google Apps Script, we can do many things in AppSheet. So with that, I end this video with my thanks to all for your support. Do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below. So take care. Bye-bye.